Father, thank you. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. And everyone this morning, here in the sound of my God this morning, you are blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Not that you could be blessed, but you are blessed already. Hallelujah. Clap up for Almighty God. Come with me very quickly to the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, this morning. I'm reading just two verses, and that is verse 1 and 6. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Jump to six, please. Hallelujah. So but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when you read further, whosoever that comes to God must first of all believe. Hallelujah. You come to God by believing of what He can do. Not only that, of, of who He is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you for your word this morning. Whosoever that hear the sound of my voice this morning, O oh Lord. Be eternally changed, O oh Lord, by the power of your word. Challenge every life. Father, there possess something unique in every life. Glorify your name through your word. In Jesus' mighty name, let me hear the light on us. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now, faith. Is the key. Hallelujah. Faith. He that comes to God must first of all believe that he is God and with him there is nothing. Hallelujah. You don't just come to somebody that you know that can give something to you and have that doubt that he will not give it to you. But well, first of all, I thank God for the servant of God. And I also can the great honor for giving me the opportunity to share the word of God with you today this morning. And as you hear, we clap our faith for your prayer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now put God first in everything that you do in life. Let God be first. Put yourself in the position of us of saying, I do it my own. Because too many people in this earth that want to do things on their own, they put themselves in a place, in a state of regret. Hallelujah. Put God first. Let's stand by the word of God. That when God says it in my life and in your life, that settles it. So this, the title of today's message is God's word is helpful. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is that very important in our Christian life? <laughs> Try always to inject the spirit of doubt by the propelling power of Almighty God. Let me just pray God, draw our attention back quickly to the program that we watched here last week, Sunday. We saw how faith responds. We saw how doubt responds. Hallelujah. The one that you give weight to take the upper hand. The Bible made us to say, for without faith it is impossible. 
or to please God. I'm here to tell you this morning, walk by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. And said to your neighbor, say, expect a miracle. <laughs> expect a miracle. <laughs> now, why must you expect a miracle? Because we are living in the days of miracle. And whether you like it or not, it's going to be to the end. Hallelujah. The hour will not come because it is, it is written. Miracle can never cease. But it can only come cease in the life of that particular person when he's no more alive. But when you fail to realize that miracle is a daily life, you will end up. In not receiving any miracle. So today I expect miracle. <laughs> and I receive miracle. I'm a child of miracle. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Is the Lord. The word of God does not fail. Number one, hallelujah. Amen. Write it down. The word of God does not fail. And you can find out in the book of Isaiah 55, 10 to 11. When God says it, when he speaks it out, he does not return back to him void, but accomplish the purpose which was said and which was made for. Hallelujah. Amen. Now as a child of God, and when you put yourself as a Christian, as a saint, as a spirit-led believer, as a believer, you position yourself in when you are asking, when you are demanding for something, you know that you have that faith. You position yourself as a child of God. Whether you like it or not, to get it. Hallelujah. We have testimony, two testimonies that we have just heard this morning. Concerning Emmanuel. Not only Emmanuel, but God is also doing it for you too. Hallelujah. You have to take a step of faith and believe it. Make a confession and stand by that confession because there are spirits that guide that confession. They come and take it and put it into action. But your own step, you need to also do a job. Hallelujah. Wow. And we are going to see this and have some points this morning. Let me quickly give that some point four because of the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one, I said, the word of God does not fail. Hallelujah. Amen. Then number two, the angels are ministering spirit for the believers. Hallelujah. Amen. Write it down. Hallelujah. Number three, the Holy Spirit takes hold together with us in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Then number four, faith and prayer Go hand in hand together, whether you like it or not. Faith and prayer, they go hand in hand together. Then number five, in the name of Jesus, we know in the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Hallelujah. Amen. When you start paint with that name, there is no any other name that can erase it. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus, always let it go with you always. Then number six. Be positive in your thinking. Be positive in your thinking. When you think something and you know that it's good, be positive to it. Take negative out of it always. Don't, neg don't let negative take a spot of it. Otherwise, if you give room, the Bible says, if you give room to the devil, what do we do? You won't go night. <laughs> don't give chance. Devil. Hallelujah. Think positive. Always. Hallelujah. Then the last but not the least, number seven, is developing a habit of praise and worship always. You have it already in your book, but develop it more. Hallelujah. Amen. The more you do that, the more. There are some times you don't even need to pray for some certain things. It's not, it's not all things that you need to pray for before you get it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But praise and worship made it made them to come spiritually to you. Hallelujah. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. These are 
the seven things that I have for everyone this morning. Take note of it. If you have, know you have it, everyone have it, but let the group increase it. Try to increase it. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the word of God be in your heart the word, the whole word of God. So that when you are facing trials and situations, temptation, you just, you know, you just sort it out like this. You just take it out and shoot into that situation, whether you like it or not. But wait for it. Don't just be worried. Because the more you worry, you are giving the enemy the chance. Get the word of God. The word of God is a cure. Hallelujah. How many believe that the word of God is a cure? Yes. To every circumstances man can face and to every circumstances that man will face on earth. The word to come, the time to come. The word of God is a cure to it. Position yourself in a place that when one comes to you, to try the negative things into your mind. Try to get that thing out. Position yourself to sweep it out. Hallelujah. Say this, I'm not going to take it. Hallelujah. It's not for me. You see, and somebody that's not a Christian, when you say something to me, something that is good, that he don't even like. How many of you have said that? He joined himself to do his uh, the help of this. Have you ever seen it in Nigeria? It's come back. He says it's not me. But we as a Christian, we just sort it out like just make it <laughs> I went to an office about many, many years ago. They were looking for no, I just told them the name. And they want to look at they want to sort it out. They said they, they have a big uh, wardrobe. They just press the just type the alphabet on it. The machine just made it. He just opened it and he just took one of them. Took the file out. They also have it in the kitchen. Hallelujah. Let the word of God be like that in our heart. Amen. Every cent to you that is listening to me, watching this morning, let the word of God be a carrier of the word of God. In times of circumstances, you can shoot it out. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are something when you are feeling heavy, I'm here. I'm here to tell you, I plan our faith. I said, you foul spirit of sickness, I command you in the name of Jesus, pack your load and go. It's done. But the angels of God, they are behind you. We watch it last week. They are there to take a record of what you are speaking out. The Bible says, we say, ye are what? God. Now, when you speak out, you speak like God. You are God on earth. Therefore, have no option than to obey what you speak out. Have faith in God always. Don't give room to doubt. Position yourself always to always receive a miracle. Miracle is always placed in the play, in, in, in the side, in the front of everyone. You know, in your back. The miracles are in your back. What are you doing? Don't you believe me or not? You have the one that you have passed by. You're supposed to connect. You reflect in your mind. Miracles are all over. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm speaking to somebody this morning that is all over. That miracle is all over him this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And I speak to somebody that miracle is all over him this morning. Amen. Amen. All over you is you are born of miracles. Amen. Because why we live in the days of miracle? Let nobody tell you that there is no miracle. Because you sitting in the chair here is a miracle. And the, and the aircraft on the, on the air is a miracle. The world that does not fall down is a miracle. Rain that does fall down does not go up again is a miracle. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen a seed that just stays stuck in one place? No. It, it, and as a point of time, you still see that some of the water that goes out of it is still, still going. 
We are the children of God. We are born of miracle. So apply your faith on ways. Let your faith on what's work stronger. Even if I thought you didn't get what you are expecting now, there's not me. It's, this, it's late. It's all over. But it's coming. Whether you like it or not. Am I talking to somebody this morning? Miracle is at your door. <laughs> you said, I have miracle. You just said it. Miracle is at my door. But how? Somebody was just really hurting in my working place, and he said he wants to take care. You know, he was just asking the Lord and said, the, 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 Please ask me if I back on it. I said, Yes, sir. I heard that word. He said, He said, Back on it. And the Lord said, No, I'm neither wish I have his wish. He was just going, to, going about and said, I have to back on it. I said, Hey, hey let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I want to give it back at the There's something that I want to put back at the Hallelujah. I said, but did you believe when I pray to you, when I pray with you, that the headache will go just once like that? He said, he said, no, he said, no, not just no, no. no. I said, but I'm telling you, if you don't need back at but I had one bigger than back at He said, he said, what? No, not 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 so that way. But you don't believe. You said, well, yeah, he clapped. Okay, good. You give me your hand. I don't need another thing. I just pray with him. You found spirit of him. Come back in the name of Jesus. <laughs> yes, Hallelujah. in your life. Maybe one of these days, all those people that will invite them, they will come so that you see it. Because we still have a doubt in Thomas in any way nowadays. Hallelujah. So then, just say, you know, I'll call them one day, you see them. I've just said that before. But what happened to you? So something like this. I'll tell you. But it's not you that is doing it. But it is there is something that is doing that is doing us. Hallelujah. We are only an instrument. Hallelujah. Let yeah. him today have that same propelling forces in him. Hallelujah. You position yourself and let God use you. Don't say, I'm too old. I'm not, I'm not square. No, no, no. This is, this is not for me. This is too hard for me. No. Let God use you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You do not know that you have the power to bind the forces in the air, the forces in the sea, the forces in the forest? Apply for it. Say with me, apply for it. Apply for it. Apply for it. Apply for it. Well, it's not only for a short time, but always. Know that there are ministering angels backing you up. Hallelujah. I'm not doing really that. Bible members may say, "What if some of those things that I just said, that Holy Spirit take hold with us in prayer?" Hallelujah. <coughs> ever since that He has came here, He has never come back. He's still here. He has not traveled. He's still here. Whatever, whatsoever you command on earth here, is command is bound in heaven. Hallelujah. If you walk into an office, apply faith. Why is it that every, every time we always uh, give thanks to God concerning document? Because of our faith. We have that faith that we believe that God is with us and is helping us in that area. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is still helping us. Anyone that has been a member that wants to be a member of this church, Travel out or go somewhere, that place is still going to be his personality. Hallelujah. Amen. And we just had one this morning. Clap up for Almighty God. <laughs> but that man was part of us. 
And it's not quite too long that he went to Canada, but he has got it what? Nationality. Amen. Amen. Well, that faith, his faith and your faith. He has faith, you have faith. He believed God, you have to believe God. He did something, you have to do something. He take a step, you have to take a step. Hallelujah. Amen. And believing that there, there is a propelling force that is propelling you, in any time you stand for good. Hallelujah. But when you stand for evil, knowing that there is a propelling force is going to be weak. Hallelujah. The, gener the generating system of that propelling force will not be activated. Because what you are what you are about to do is evil. But by the time you measure of good, that propelling forces, even if at all the generating forces is you know, power is reduced, it's going to reinforce. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have faith always in God. Have faith in the word of God. When you have faith in the word of God, you have faith automatically you have faith with God. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is God Himself. Hallelujah. You take something and hold it. When you want to pray, put yourself in that position by raising up your two hands above your head. As you finish that prayer, when you are bringing your hands down, <laughs> there is something spiritual that comes with it. You want to empty hand and you come to the receiving hand. Hallelujah. Amen. By faith. You can only walk by faith. The Thomas, he doubted and said, uh, this one, if I don't see it, you know, we are living in a life of we of seeing and believing. And said, if I don't see it, I don't believe it. But when the word says it, he says it and he settles, and that settles it forever. Hallelujah. Amen. But you need to put yourself, position yourself by exercising patience. These are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. We find this in Galatians. It's there, patience. It's not, it's not, they didn't erase it out. It's still there. If you erase it out from your Bible, we mark up. But remember, in the Lemos Bible, you still find it there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't increase, you can't inherit, you can't erase it. It's still there. Patience. Too many Christians in the world today, they, don't, they have faith, but they don't have that patience. They don't apply that patience to faith. It's like you cook soup. How many, how many are good cook, cooker here? You cook soup without maggi. Yeah. Not maggi. Let us drop the maggi. Got the last some soup. You got food. Don't do it even before. Cook soup without salt. I tell you, <laughs> it's tasty. It's all in here. Even if I throw all the materials of the of the soup. <laughs> That if you like, go and, go and get all the 29 ingredients <laughs> of soup. Prepare it and without salt. And that food is exercised in futility. Hallelujah. <laughs> Just waste the time to cook it. So, faith, the word of God, faith without you, the word of God without faith. Yeah, he does not commit it. You have to back it up with faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When the angel speak to Sarah and said, in time like this, this same time that you are going to conceive. Yeah, this is just uh, uh, if they want to, uh, if they just came to eat our food, they don't just why they just eat our food and have to go. He's still telling me, oh, how can I? <laughs> the angels bought you a circle. You will not be adopting us. But whether you like it or not, the same time next year, and this thing will have spoken and it's going to happen in the name of Jesus. And Zachariah, in the book of Luke, the angel brought a wonderful and sound and a renounced message. Hallelujah. He said, How can this be? And the angel said, From today, when you, you believe not, but today, when you like it or not, you are going to be silent. You are not going to speak till that child is being given birth. Hallelujah. 
and the word of God came to pass or not? Let us position ourselves in the position of God. Don't wait. You are having that pain to come. You frowns to that. Your mother are joined in the name of Jesus. Pack your road. You just be demonstrating your finger. Pack your road and go. Ah, your finger is made to, the, to divert the, the forces. <laughs> it's not, it's not, your finger is not to be there for it. God's going to command you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody in, 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 in few years, let me also tell us this. I, 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 I give God the glory. And somebody just came to me and tell me, stop my shoe. I said, you are the one that is open. He said, you are the one that is open. He said, you are the one that is open. I said, I just want to see that you don't come out of it. was a, it was the tankers in the family, they could not come in. And they will start. Do you know what happened after about a few weeks? It was not one, after about a few weeks. We were just tossing everywhere, every department, just tossing them because he has that authority. So the yesterday he bought a small that was in charge of your butter and tell the person to speed it to the butter. The person said it's not speeding it was it's in the disc. So it's working like this. The person is from Hungary. And Hungarian man is also working because his name was hot. Very, very, very wonderful man. The man is always smiling. I don't know if it's a Christian, but whatever you see, he's always smiling. <laughs> He moved he that swept that man away. How many that he swept a lot of people out? But you do know after a couple of weeks, he was also swept out. <laughs> 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 you are talking about what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. He swept out. But God can only do it. I may not say he did it because of me, but, but by faith he did it because of me. Hallelujah. <laughs> A styler that was saying that was under me, he was trying to put it on, on me, on top of me, that I, I would be under him. Do you know after about after about few 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 months, he bust uh, the battery of a uh, of tractor, and you know the, because of that he is no more there in the company. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. But let the power of God and sin should be activated. Hallelujah. Activate it for the works of the fairy darkness. Pull this host down. It doesn't matter what. I'm not saying that God did it because of only me alone, but He did it because of the whole people, good people in the company. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But let us position ourselves, but don't pull yourself. You may not pull yourself out, that is, you know, but you hide yourself and begin to deal with people. That is not what you do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let your faith increase. Amen. Let your faith increase. Amen. Be bold like a lion. Amen. And also let him know that whether cold rain or sunshine, what you have spoken and what you have decreed will surely come to pass. Amen. And you said, This is what I have given to you, you Mr. Devil. I have ushered you to out, and you are going out Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. Master Jesus. Now I spoke to Mr. Dove Master about a few years ago. When how many of you know Matthew here? Matthew, you are very He, you know Matthew. Hallelujah. When we went for his visa, he said he wants to take a lawyer. I said you are not taking any lawyer. I will go with you. I went with him. And by then I was also having nationality, so I have also the right to go so to very somewhere. I went with him. I said, Look, you are giving him this visa. He said, I said, well, so, uh, are you telling him, telling him his job? I said, Well, he's due for it. Hallelujah. Yeah. The next thing he told us that he said, We should sit outside. I said, We are going to we'll be patient and sit outside. When you finish, you call us in. Hallelujah. Yeah. And when he immediately, he just called, he was just no arrogant. Hallelujah. And many of people know that man, it's an arrogant. 
But one day he will come here and bow for my God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Something will bring him here to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said something will bring him here. Hallelujah. Yeah. But for good. Hallelujah for him. Amen. Amen. So he just said, he, the next thing, instead of him to issue, he was just giving an instruction to another situation. But whether you issue it to another situation, we get what you want. Hallelujah. But be patient. Say to someone, say, be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. If you are expecting gold from God, be patient. You are expecting the fruit of the womb, be patient. You are expecting promotion, be patient. You are expecting moving forward, be patient. But not only be patient and sit in one place and said, I'm moving forward. But you have to position yourself for moving forward. And the propelling forces will be prepared. You will be prepared by the propelling forces in the name of Jesus. Shall we rise in our faith this morning? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Knowing it that the word of God is an entrance to the light. Confidence, boldness, faith. We walk together, they are all together. Hallelujah. Amen. Get it in your inner psyche. Hallelujah. Then <coughs> when you are going out, always, always let it be with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm very sorry for the time. We just you know the time has just died. It's not on our side. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. A clap of for Almighty God. <laughs>